Hey everybody, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan and I'm super excited today to walk you guys through WP Grid Builder. So for those of you guys that are familiar with the plugin Facet WP, it's pretty similar to that, except that it actually works inside of Oxygen. So for those of us that use Oxygen and are not very developer savvy, this is gonna be a fantastic alternative for you. And before we get too far, I wanted to let you know this is not a sponsored video. WP Grid Builder was kind enough to send me a review copy back in September, but at that time it actually didn't work in Oxygen to filter out repeaters and easy posts and so on. But as of just a few days ago, it actually does now. So what you can do is have it filter archive pages and also custom queries, which is exactly what we needed it to do to work inside of Oxygen. So basically I've had about a day or so to play with this to kind of get it working and it's actually surprisingly easy. So I wanted to show you a couple of examples of what it can do and just a really brief tour of the back end. This is not a super detailed review video just yet. That'll come in the future once I have more time to play with it. But at this point, I just wanted to show you what it can do because I know for myself and lots of other people, filtering is really that missing link in Oxygen and Facet WP worked, but it was really hard to use. And this sort of plugs that gap for me, hopefully for you as well. So check out their website, it's wpgridbuilder.com. And of course, there'll be a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and jump over to the first example here. And this is just a super basic repeater. It has the post title, the featured image, and then each one of these posts has a single category assigned to it. As you can probably guess, this reviews one is attached to this sunglasses review. And then I'm a category, that one is just this one here. So I just wanted to show you that it does actually work here in Oxygen. And then the other thing is that you can actually change all this stuff. So all these different colors, you don't have to change with CSS like you do in Facet WP. There's a little select box to change the checkbox color as well as the borders and so on. But a more interesting example is like for a WooCommerce store. So as you can see, this is the product builder element, uh, the product archive list in the back end of Oxygen. And what I can do here is filter anything by category. I have a search facet set up and then also these colors here. So let's just click on like accessories for instance. And as you can see, it filters out everything pretty much seamlessly. There's not really like a whole jarring reload of the page or anything like that. So it's pretty clean here. And then of course I can filter stuff by color. So if I go blue, I actually didn't even notice that it tells you the total count when you hover over the color, which is pretty neat there. So when I click on blue, I only have this stuff left. And because it's faceted search, I could type in the word hoodies in the search field real quick, and we're only gonna be left with a hoodie. So as you can see, the server that I'm on is not super quick, but I mean, it's reasonable enough. And then of course you can just click like an X, make your search go away. I can deselect one of these colors, and then let's just say I wanna go green this time then there is our long sleeve shirt that's green. So super, super easy to use. And because it works with oxygen, it's really seamless to get it working in the back end. So let me show you real quick. In the back end, I just have one div, a couple of short codes in here, and that's actually what's rendering out those facets. Now, how do you create those facets really easily? So what you need to do is in the back end, once you have WP Grid Builder installed, there's this facets tab. You can go ahead and create a new one. So I'll show you that real quick. You basically give it a name for the back end, so we can just call this guy test. And then the facet title is what actually appears on the front end. Don't really worry, I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. What you do need to do is go ahead and click on save, and then the facet ID here is uh, changed, because if you don't click save, it's gonna give you a facet ID equals zero, and then you're gonna be like me and spend a million hours on the front end trying to figure out why your facet doesn't load and is not filtering this stuff out properly. So just make sure that the uh, facet ID for the ones that you're creating are actually the, you know, the correct ID on the front end here. So in any case, what I actually wanted to show you was the behavior. So you can see the facet actions, filter, sort, apply, reset, be pretty self-explanatory there. And then all the filter types that you could ever need. So like checkbox would be like multi-select, radio for like a single option. Uh, you have your color picker, like for attributes on a product in WooCommerce, such as color, like I already showed you search fields and autocomplete. Search also works with like relevant ASCII and search WP if you have those installed, which I don't at this point. But you can see there's lots of options here. As you move down the page, you can change your data source kind of like you can in Facet WP, change it to like post type, title, author, date, any of that kind of stuff. And then also if you have custom fields, you can filter by those as well, which is really cool for, you know, custom post types and that sort of thing. There's plenty of other options here, but we'll save that for a more detailed review video and you can also kind of change those on your own should you so decide. The only thing that you really have to do to get this to work in Oxygen is go to the grid builder settings here 
And then you have to make sure that filter custom content under this facet and indexer is turned on. You just go ahead and click your save changes. That's about it. There's not a whole lot else for you to do. Under the color schemes, this is what I was talking about. You can change the accent colors of checkboxes. So like right now, if we check a box, it's blue. Let's make it purple. So over here, that's pinkish. That's fine. I'm okay. Actually, let's, let's just make it some kind of purplish pink. Magenta, whatever color that is. So we will refresh real quick. And it actually keeps the checkbox checked for us, which is cool. And you also get that URL up there so you can share that. And then of course our checkbox is that magenta color, which is really neat. So as you can see, this is super easy to put together. There's really nothing that you have to do except turn on a couple of settings, make your facets, and then paste in your short codes. And then all of this is done for you. Like I said, this right here is the product list element. I tested it on this a repeater and easy post in oxygen and it works really well. The only other thing I wanted to mention real quick is that you do in the facets have to change the grid. So by default, let me go back over here to one of these facets. I forgot to mention this. So if you go to the short code right here, it says grid equals zero. Of course, that's not the case. What you need to do is on all the short codes, just um, basically change the grid to be WPGB hyphen content. And that's it. You don't even need to attach a class or anything to the product list element. You don't have to do anything except just make sure that that short code says, you know, grid that instead of zero and you'll be off to the races. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Really exciting for me because like I said, it kind of solves a big headache that I run into all the time. And because how easy it is to set up, it just is really exciting. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know your thoughts and specifically what you'd like to see as far as tutorial videos on this in the future. And I'll get those whipped up. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.